Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and uh, muggy and warm Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag to start our day. you got the uh, Dow that's up slightly. S&P's up 13 points. NASDAQ 195. Russell's down 10. Semis are up 44. Trainee's down 117. You've got gold trading off 5 bucks at 25.49. Silver's off a penny at 29.90. Lights recruit is off a buck 27. Natural gas is down 4 cents. 30 retreads off 19. Ticks printed out at 120.04. Uh, we got the DAX that's trading up 99 points out there. So that bodes well for the NASDAQ 100. It would suggest that uh, we got a 30 minutes from now, the DAX will close. And it's, uh, in fact, if we take a look at the DAX here, you'll see that it's trading above a descending trend line from its all time high. That's the first touch point out here back on May the 14th. Next touch point is that nice high on July 12th. That's the level that's being uh, tested right now. If price closes above it, it would suggest a further move higher. That would suggest that we would see a further move higher in the NASDAQ as well. But let's go try to figure out what all this means again by taking a look at the nine panel market update chart. ES mini, TD nine count top. Uh, uh, price is trading with inside its profile, resistance up at the 5665 uh, level. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it's still below its 50 day exponential moving average. 50 days at 1676, we're trading at 1580. That provides an edge for the buyers out there. The NQ is run into trend line resistance. It's consolidating with inside its profile. It is a TD nine count top out there. Uh, just a consolidation. What I can share with you, and you'll see here when we do the Trader's Edge show, is that on the NQ on the daily time frame, price is pulled back, tested, and rejected, screen off center and change line. That is a bullish signal, even though it's got a TD9 count top. The U.S. dollar index went ahead and formed a TD9 count bottom yesterday. We should see a rally up towards the bottom of its profile. That's at the 101.94 level. If we take a look at gold, it has a TD9 count top. Price consolidating with inside its profiles as well. Silver, the same thing. A TD9 count top that completes today. Price trading with with inside his profiles, testing resists at 30.03. Lights we crude is a rally, nice rally yesterday, but right up into that profile resistance level provides you and I with a competitive edge out there, a competitive advantage. Top of that profile, 77.52. Light uh, natural gas is uh, targeting its uh, TD9 count bottom. That's at a buck 882 out there, so that's level to be watching. And a 30 year treasury, which does have a sell the D point top, it's really just been trading in a sideways motion out there, mostly. Um, higher lows out there, mostly. Today uh, could be changing that signal out there. So, folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, if you would. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care. Be safe. Folks. of trading.